Good Saturday afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Elite Weather Forecasting. I'm your meteorologist. My name is Mr. G. Also, you can call me Dooley Godot if you want, so Mr. G is fine too. But we got a weather forecast for you guys today. And I'm happy to say that we're finally starting to see a period of quieter weather, not so much in the way of severe weather. We're not going to be worrying about tornadoes for the most part today, although there is some activity to parts of the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley, and we are looking at some activity down across southwestern Texas up into the Rockies, but I don't think that we're going to see much in the way of tornado activity out of that, as that is mostly a widely scattered elevated activity, so a bit quieter day. A pattern change is taking place right now, and we're seeing things warm up across the western half of the United States. There is a bit of a trough in the northeast, so it's going to be a little bit cooler there for the Great Lakes and parts of New England. So we're going to see temperatures a bit cool in the 50s and 60s, but we're seeing things warm up quite nicely across the plains. So we're seeing temperatures in the 70s and 80s from Minnesota and the Dakotas and West and East eastern Montana all the way down to Texas so we're seeing nice warm temperatures and uh, and for once a uh, 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 a shortage of severe weather across the high plains and the Midwest. So enjoy your weekend and your uh, nice calm weather for a change. So enjoy that as we get ready for Mother's Day tomorrow. So if you're taking mom out to brunch or any uh, maybe to a baseball game or, or anything, whatever you might want to do, for most of the country, feel free to do so because we're looking at and wonderful weather right now from coast to coast. A few areas we're still seeing some snow over the Rockies, but this is over the high elevations. This is above eight, nine thousand feet. So this is only over the highest mountain peaks. We're still seeing some snow over central Colorado. We're not looking at any snow over Denver or or, or any or any of the metro areas. Uh, in the eastern end of the Rockies across near the high plains of Colorado. We're not looking at any snow for those regions. Did you see it? Did you see them? Did you see them last night? Did you see the Aurora Borealis? You'll have another chance to see them tonight as we have a very uh, significant solar storm right now. So we are do have a, a solar storm warning, a watch in effect for tonight so we're going to see the borealis again i didn't feel well yesterday plus we have finals as well so i didn't get a chance to go out and check them out but a lot of folks there i saw plenty of video on youtube and tiktok of folks as far south as tennessee and alabama taking a video of the aurora borealis so it's pretty nice to see the auroras down over the continental united states so enjoy that. We'll get another shot at it again tonight to see the auroras from uh, the, across the mainland of the U.S. in tonight. So again, uh, enjoy that. So let's move on with the weather forecast. Oh, and before we do that, let's take care of the channel. Uh, I am on TikTok at Elite Weather. Uh, 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 six six four six. You can if you want to go directly to the channel, just go to at Elite Weather six six four six. That's my channel address or whatever it is on YouTube. You can go ahead and check out my videos. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave your comments and all that kind of jazz. And on TikTok, it's also uh, at, at Mr G Weather. So I'm Mr G Weather on TikTok. So go ahead and uh, follow the channel and subscribe, uh, comment and all that kind of good stuff. So with a, a pleasure to present a nice weather forecast, let's get started with our first map. And we're gonna look at the current temperatures across America right now. And look at that warm weather across the central US. Temperatures in the 70s, almost 80 degrees up in Fargo, uh, North Dakota right now. So very nice, 79 degrees. We're looking at temperatures almost 80 across North and South Dakota. We're seeing those warm temperatures extending all the way down across the central part of the United States, all the way down to Texas, where we're going to be seeing warm temperatures 
a little bit cooler here across uh, parts of uh, West Texas, a little bit cooler than average, and we have a, 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 a bit of disturbed weather right here over the Rockies, over Colorado and New Mexico, where we're going to be seeing some snow across the higher elevation areas where it's still cold enough for snow but for the most part as you can see across the western half of the united states it's pretty nice and warm across the northern rockies the pacific northwest as well very nice we're seeing temperatures in the 70s and 80s from portland and into seattle still a little bit cooler over southern california where those temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s in the LA and Orange County region of California. So beautiful weather out west, dry conditions for once, a little bit of snow across the central Rockies, very nice and dry across the central and southern plains, the Gulf Coast as well. We'll see some rain and thunderstorms down in South Florida, but the rest of the state are gonna be okay today. A little bit chilly in the Northeast, New England, Boston, New York City, uh, Buffalo, uh, Albany, Rochester. Uh, you guys are going to be a little bit cooler in Pittsburgh and Philly, D.C. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s. So uh, still really nice. Those are really nice conditions. Very pleasant, perfect for Mother's Day for going out to a brunch and sitting out on a patio at your favorite restaurant that has one. It's going to be a perfect day for that. It's going to be some showers right in this region where it's dark there across uh, um, the eastern Great Lakes. So Lake Erie and Lake Ontario might see some showers and maybe a thunderstorm as well, but no severe weather. Uh, so much needed rainfall, so that's not going to be too bad for you folks, okay? And here is our current surface map and radar overlay. Here is where we have that area of wet weather where we have a weak area of low pressure there across Ontario, Canada, and that's spreading some rainfall from Canada into the Ohio Valley and into Western Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Eastern Ohio and parts of Northeastern Kentucky. So we're gonna be seeing some rain showers from Cleveland and um, Detroit as well might be on the, on the very edge of that and Buffalo, we're going to be seeing some rain showers and then another area of rain showers here moving into New England. So Vermont, New Hampshire might see some rain showers in like East Rutherford or Concord or areas like that. And maybe expect a shower or two and maybe even a rumble of thunder. But no severe weather expected today in that region. So that is some good news to report for you folks. And on our next map here is our general radar and we can see that rain showers up there across the eastern Great Lakes and into the Ohio Valley and parts of the Northeast. And if you can see closely here, we got some scattered showers and some thunderstorms across uh, the Texas Panhandle here and parts of North Texas where Lubbock Amarillo might see a shower or stray thunderstorm today. Maybe some large hail is going to be possible with those, but we're not looking at an area of particularly organized severe weather, but an isolated severe storm is going to be possible in this region, and we're going to see some isolated severe possible in this region across southwestern New Mexico and West Texas, where we could see an isolated widely scattered severe thunderstorms we're not talking tornadoes today but we could see maybe a weak tornado or funnel cloud as these will be elevated thunderstorms and a lot of the storms the rainfall is the, it's very dry down close to the surface so much of the rainfall will evaporate before hitting the ground in those regions. So I think the biggest thing today will be gusty winds because of the downflow, the outflow from those thunderstorms when they begin to dissipate. The rainfall will pull cold air from the upper levels of the atmosphere and that cold air will rush down to the surface and spread out as it hits the ground. So that's what we're gonna see the primary threat with any severe weather down across this region today. In our next map, here is a look at our snowfall forecast. 
And the only place we're looking for snow is here across central Colorado. We might see some snow up above eight, maybe 9,000 feet. We might see a little bit of snow over this region, but not a whole lot. We're not looking at a feet, but maybe a few inches of snow, up to five inches or so, might be possible across this region as we work on our way through the uh, weekend here. When this system moves out over the plains, it's going to be too warm for snow over Denver, but we still might see some stray showers and maybe even a thunderstorm across the Denver area tomorrow. Here is the current temperatures across the U.S. Again, we're going to take another look at our current temperatures. I did I already do this, but here we are again. I'm going to refocus your attention on how beautiful these temperatures are. God damn, this is my favorite kind of weather right here. Look at these temperatures in the 70s, near 80 degrees across the Central Plains. Remember, this area got beat up by the severe weather over the past couple of weeks. So a nice quiet period of some warm weather, a little bit lower humidities as well as we have a big ridge of high pressure over the western half of the United States. So that's making that uh, air as it flows over the top of the ridge, we have a nice uh, temperature, that air flow coming over the, the uh, top of the ridge. Uh, uh, the, at the ridge, it's called a ridge axis. So that air is coming over the ridge, so we're seeing that compressional heating on the leeward side of the Rockies. As that air descends down the sides of the mountains, it compresses so it warms up. That's one of the reasons why we're seeing temperatures warm up really nicely over the central and northern plains because of compressional heating of air ascending or descending over the top of the Rockies and the, uh, the cyclonic air pattern up over the Rocky Mountains. So we're seeing warmer weather across the high plains. So enjoy that because that's going to actually give us several days of very warm temperatures across the upper Midwest, the plains, and that's going to extend all the way down through the uh, Ozarks the Tennessee Valley and the lower Mississippi Valley as well. We're gonna be seeing those temperatures in the 70s and 80s. But we do have a weak area of low pressure that's working its way out of the central and southern Rockies. However, this system is gonna track mostly to the south and across southern Texas and along the Gulf Coast. So we're not gonna see a big round of severe weather through Oklahoma and Kansas and Nebraska this time because this is this severe weather will be confined mostly down to the south and the good news is this there was much warmer air in play we're not going to see that big contrast between cold air on the back side of the system and that warm moist air on the head of the system but we're going to be seeing less of a contrast so that's going to make less of a threat for tornadoes and severe weather. There will be some severe weather that we will endure, but not a whole bunch. Not to the level that we have seen over the last several days. Where I don't think we've had several numerous deaths because of tornadoes. Several people was killed the other day in Tennessee. We had some deaths in Oklahoma, Kansas, and in Nebraska. So we not, uh, unfor fortunately, hopefully, I won't have to talk about any of uh, those types of thunderstorms or derecho or anything like that. Just isolated severe thunderstorms that only remain severe for a limited period of time. We're not looking for any long track severe thunderstorms as we head through the next upcoming week. So that is some great news to forecast for you guys today. Alright, so here is a thunderstorm forecast for the uh, for tonight and into the evening hours we have a chance for thunderstorms over the eastern areas of the Ohio Valley so eastern Pennsylvania Kentucky and western western Pennsylvania eastern Ohio and north central Kentucky is where we can see thunderstorms today and over parts of Michigan and Ontario southern Ontario so that includes the city of Toronto and Detroit and Cleveland, uh, uh, Lexington, Kentucky, and we're going to see uh, Pittsburgh, 
with a shot at some thunderstorms, but no severe weather is expected. And we have some thunderstorms that we're going to talk about here across southwestern Texas into New Mexico and maybe parts of eastern uh, Colorado. We're going to see some severe thunderstorms right in this region, but again, isolated limited in uh, power and things like that so again very widely scattered and isolated severe thunderstorms so I wouldn't worry too much about this activity either again here is your rainfall forecast for the next 48 hours so we're still going to see some wet weather down here across the south but we're just not going to see the severe weather that we've seen but we will see some large areas of rainfall that we can pick up um, a couple of inches of rain down here near the Gulf Coast, the lower Mississippi Valley. So East Texas, Louisiana, Southern Arkansas, Mississippi, maybe even parts of Western Alabama where we can see the heavier rainfall amounts. And we can see some heavier rainfall through North Central Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, and southeastern Nebraska and southern Iowa but that rainfall is going to extend into the uh, parts of southern Wisconsin Milwaukee into Illinois Chicago area we're going to see some rain showers but not a whole lot of rain we're not going to see uh, flooding or anything like that maybe here in the darker green areas where we could see some river flooding because of excessive rainfall amounts but we're not going to be talking about so much severe weather now again that's the great news here today again here is your forecast for tomorrow morning for your day before you go to church in the morning if you're going to church with mom here is that weather forecast where we're going to see that wet weather over parts of the uh, eastern areas of the Ohio Valley so Pennsylvania uh, upstate New York down through um, New York City DC, Philadelphia, might see some rain showers as we have a front moving through and a little bit breezy as well. Some breezy conditions, some rain showers, a few rumbles of thunder, but no severe weather. And we're going to see some wet weather here across the uh, near the Canadian border and the upper peninsula of Michigan. So Marquette, uh, Sault Ste. Marie, and maybe um, uh, uh, Superior, Wisconsin might see a, a, a rain shower or as well and maybe a rumble of thunder in that region but no severe weather and down here across the high plains of uh, Kansas down to Oklahoma and Texas we're going to see some showers and thunderstorms but no severe weather tomorrow morning at least but we will see some uh, pretty good areas of rainfall across uh, central and northwestern Texas so get ready for that in the morning but not much change in the midday so when you get out of church and head to brunch with mom tomorrow we're gonna see some heavier rain over East Texas uh, central Oklahoma as well and over Kansas but we're gonna start to see some of this moisture begin to uh, dissipate in here in the east so we're going to see fewer showers at the midday so most of that rainfall will occur in the a.m. hours but about midday we'll start to see things dissipate and high pressure begin to build in so if you're in New York, Philadelphia, D.C. Uh, maybe into uh, Connecticut as well we're going to see those rain showers disappear in the midday and in the evening hours if you're taking mom to dinner or to a show or whatever is going on here we are as we see that rainfall continue over the southern plains we have the potential for some severe here but again not looking for widespread severe isolated severe thunderstorms possible across Texas and maybe into parts of Oklahoma and Kansas we're going to see mostly rainfall is going to be the primary focus with this uh, wet weather event and these thunderstorms across parts of the plains. But we're going to see things continue to warm up. We could see 80s here in the Twin, in the twin Cities tomorrow. We're forecasting a high of 83 in Minneapolis tomorrow. And that will be the warmest day of the year so far. So we have our first 80 in the forecast for Minneapolis and St. Paul for your Mother's Day tomorrow. But it'll cool back a little bit as we head into Monday, but your forecast for your area today as of May 11th, we are gonna see uh, that warm weather up across the upper Midwest, 71 up at International Falls, 
76 in Minneapolis so a very nice warm day out there today and we're going to see those temperatures in the 60s up around Detroit a nice day a, a nice chilly day as well for your folks so 59 degrees near 60 in Detroit uh, New York City will have a high today of 59 degrees under partly cloudy skies and uh, also 52 in Boston with a temperature of 52 degrees and then we're going to see those temperatures um, we're going to see a 90 down there near Miami, 93 in Miami, 91 in Tampa, over uh, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, 89 in Jacksonville, 74 in La Atlanta under partly cloudy skies as well. We'll see some rain showers over West Texas. Lubbock will see some showers today, maybe a thunderstorm with the temperatures in the 60s, and we're going to see the temperature of 91 in El Paso under glorious sunshine, and 92 in Phoenix today, 72 down in LA, and in San Francisco will have a high temperature of 68 degrees under sunny skies, 82 and nice in Seattle today today 82 degrees so a beautiful day out there we're sitting looking at those 80s and 70s across the northern tier of the country so that's a bit a bit of a shocker right there but i'm happy to say that it's going to be nice and warm out there a nice night tonight uh very mild across much of the country temperatures in the 40s and across the northeast but we're going to see some 50s down uh, near Washington and Philadelphia, some 50s. Overnight lows in the upper 60s across the southeast and Florida. Some of you folks will have low temperatures in the lower 70s like New Orleans and Houston. We'll see lows tonight in the 70s. But you all should be able to see the Aurora Borealis tonight. It's going to be, maybe you might get to see it on Sunday. We'll see. It's going to shift back to the north on Sunday. But... If you, most folks tonight will get to see it as we look at those overnight temperatures. So it's going to be nice, balmy weather to go out and check out the Aurora Borealis. Now, I wonder whether or not if you're in the city where it's a lot, some lights. I saw a video from people who filmed the Auroras and they were in areas where there was a lot of light pollution, but they still were able to see it beautifully. So, I don't think, unless you live in a downtown, I don't think that's going to make much of a difference if you live in like a suburb and a, 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 a subdivision and the lights of the, the street lights or the houses might not make much of a difference. So you still should be able to get out there and check out the Aurora. So that's a beautiful thing. So enjoy that. Okay. Again, tomorrow, another beautiful day across America on your Mother's Day. A beautiful Mother's Day for most folks out there. Mostly dry weather, a few scattered shock areas going to see some rain showers in the morning hours in the Northeast in New England. Morning showers, isolated thunderstorms, but that's going to begin to break up in the afternoon. But we're going to see most of the wet weather is going to be over here across Texas. So Lubbock, uh, maybe into parts of Dallas, we're going to see a rain shower there and a rain shower for Oklahoma City, but not much severe weather, so that's some good news for you folks. Again, here is a severe weather outlook for today. We have a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms across southwestern Texas from the Mexican border up into New Mexico, where we have a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms. So these are gonna be marginally severe, isolated severe, so so a lot of popcorn thunderstorms might pop up across the region where the yellow is going to be our slight risk area so it's going to be a little bit more scattered a little bit more numerous than these regions so a little bit heftier thunderstorms more robust storms across this region but most of the area today where we have a regional a marginal risk area here over the eastern Ohio Valley. So eastern Ohio, northern uh, West Virginia, and southwestern uh, Pennsylvania, we have a marginal risk area. And we also have another little marginal risk here along the U.S.-Canadian border with Minnesota and North Dakota. So Moorhead, Minnesota is under area that could see 
a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms. And for your day tomorrow, we're going to see that risk for uh, a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms across the upper Midwest of Wisconsin and Wisconsin. Mass- Wisconsin- Eastern Wisconsin and Michigan, we're going to see the risk for a isolated severe storm, isolated severe thunderstorms over Texas, western Oklahoma, and western Kansas, but we have a slight risk over east central Texas and central um, uh, Louisiana, and these are going to be scattered severe thunderstorms. No tornadoes are expected, but always possible a weak tornado. But damaging winds is going to be the primary threat and some heavy rainfall. Not expecting big hailers this week. So as we head into Monday, so Monday here's your severe threat. Gets a little bit more active on Monday along the Gulf Coast. We have a slight risk of severe weather. So this here is a 2 and 5 out of on the severe weather threat. Then we have a marginal risk here over southwestern Texas, north central Texas, uh, southern Oklahoma, uh, Arkansas, Mississippi, down into Louisiana, Alabama as well. But if you were southwestern Mississippi, southern Alabama, all of southeastern Texas to the Gulf Coast, that slight risk, so that scattered severe thunderstorms is going to be in the forecast for you guys. So that is your Mother's Day forecast. My name is Dooley Godot, also known as Mr. G. You watching Elite Weather Forecasting. Thank you for watching me today. Leave your likes, comments, feel free to subscribe to me on YouTube. You can follow me on TikTok. And I will see you guys all tomorrow as we talk about how that weather forecast is faring and whether or not you'll get to see the Aurora Borealis again tomorrow. So thank you for joining me today. I will see y'all in the next video. Have a good afternoon and night. So bye-bye.